Hi, my name is Harun Janadi and I'm very excited to bring for you this video on how to add an extra layer of glazing on your windows for as low as $10 or £8. The fun thing is the method is very easy to do, the materials are very easy to get and this can help you save a lot on your energy bills. So watch this video till the end to benefit from it the most. On this channel, Synergy Files, as you know, we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better, more sustainable world. So please subscribe to the channel to get the notification of our latest videos. Now in the first segment of the video, I will show you, I'll demonstrate how to apply the product that I'm talking about and it's a standard off the shelf product. And in the second segment of the video, I'll run through some calculations to see how much I am expected to save on my energy bills during the cold period using this particular method. So without further ado, let's begin. You're looking at the product I was talking about. It's called the window insulation kit or additional glazing kit. This one's by a manufacturer dial. It's a six meter square glazing sheet and would require a hair dryer for application. I found this in my local B&Q store in the draft proofing section but you can also order this through Amazon. Let's see what's inside the box. There is a glazing sheet which is about 6 meters square, 3 meters by 2 meters in length. There's also a double sided tape and that's about it. There's nothing else inside the box. In this segment we are going to do some really simple calculations to find out the savings I will make on the glazing I just completed. But first we must understand something. The performance of a window is often expressed in the form of a U value which is the overall heat transfer coefficient. In short, the higher the U value the more heat you are going to lose. Therefore a lower U value is always desirable. The U value of a single glazed window is around 4 to 5 watt per meter square per Kelvin, depending upon its construction. On the other hand, a double glaze window is almost half that value, that is between 2 and 3 watt per meter square per Kelvin. So take the example of the window we just glazed. Its dimensions were about 1.37 meter by 0 0.87 meter. This gives us a covered area of around 1 meter square. During the winter season, on average, the ambient temperature remains 12 degrees centigrade lower than the inside comfortable range temperature. What this means is that I'm losing almost 60 watts of heat through this window on average based on a U value of 5. Now I have 6 such windows in my house which makes it 360 watts of heat loss through the windows alone. Now let's assume if I'm saving half of my previous energy loss, that is 180 watts through this technique of glazing then in the cold season from November to April I would be saving around 24 times 30 times 6 times 0 0.18 which would equal to 777 units of heat. For me this will equate to a saving of 32 pounds of gas over the six month period. 
This does not sound much, but it still is four times what I paid for the glazing kit. It saves about 800 units of gas, which is great for the environment. And best of all, it will slow down the rate of cooling of my house through the night, so the house is not ice cold in the mornings. You can use the glazing kit if you can't pay for normal double glazing windows or if your building is listed and you cannot change its features from outside. Do remember to ventilate your home for moisture removal because this glazing can make the house airtight. Many people have suggested that this glazing technique works better than thermal curtains, particularly if your convector is right underneath the window. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned anything from the video, make sure you hit the like button. Also share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your attention.